What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Humbles is here and welcome back to another video. Before we get into this video, I want to say a big thank you to the Mahano for alerting me to this. I would not have known if he had not told me. So big thank you to you buddy, I appreciate it. And I'll leave a link to his channel down below that way you guys can go look at his channel. He's recently started his channel back up. So any support would be awesome. You don't have to go look, but he and I would definitely appreciate it if you would just take a little bit of time. Go see if you like it. If you do, that is awesome. If you don't, it's totally fine. But I'm sure you know he would appreciate it, and I would appreciate it too for what he's done for me. So that being said, I want to actually get into the commentary and you know kind of give context to this and kind of get to the overall point of the video. So last night I was chilling. I was you know getting ready for bed. It was kind of early. It was like nine. I, I didn't really plan on staying up. It was my last day of vacation. I didn't really want to do much. So I, I get on Twitter like as a kind of last minute thing and I see I have a message from like about an hour ago and I'm like, whoa, I'm sorry that I missed your message, what's going on? And it's a message from the Mahana telling me, hey, I think someone might have stolen one of your thumbnails. I don't make thumbnails for people a lot. Usually I make them for close friends when they need help, such as Warrior Dan's video about Wiser Network or my friend It's Kingdom when he needed help because he didn't know how to do any real art. Uh, work for YouTube. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll do it a few times. So, you know, I occasionally do it. The last thing I made for anybody was the end card for Decidium Gaming as a gift, you know, saying, hey, welcome to YouTube, kinda, and here's something to help you out. So that was the last time I made art for anybody. So I was like, whoa, you know, that's weird. Why would someone take from me? I'm not a big YouTuber. So I go over to the link and lo and behold, there it is. It's the thumbnail for my best network to join video that I made for Crosshair TV and their network. So I was kind of like, well, that's annoying because that was a gift to somebody else meant entirely and solely for them. That video was meant for them. If they wanted to use it for anything, they could. All the art there was like for them. Everything there was for them. So I was like, well, that's kind of a dick thing to do. My next reaction was to go look and see if I had messages saying, hey, did this guy ask me permission to use it and I might not have gotten back to him so he got frustrated and used it anyway. I go and look, no messages. And I don't delete messages unless they're spam and I even left my spam messages there just to be sure. And I was like, nope, still not here. Still don't know who you are and you certainly didn't ask me. So at that point, I was kind of like, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna send a message saying, hey, next time you wanna do this, just ask me and you should ask anybody if you plan on using their stuff. But other than that, I'm not gonna do anything until I look at the comment section. I'll be putting pictures up that way you guys can kind of tell what's going on. Uh, I look at the comment section and I see a conversation between the Mahano and him and he's kind of doing his own like sleuth work and like trying to check and see what's going on. And then at which point he says, a friend of his went and came to his house and made the thumbnail for him. So I was like, no, because I don't know you and I didn't go to your house and I didn't make it for you because you're promoting Voo Studios, which while is the parent network to Crosshair is not the same thing. So I'm like, I did not make this for you. This is not for you to use. So I'm like, all right, this is a lie. And then, you know, what really upset me was that I made it, and you, if you're gonna take it from me, at the very least you could point people in the direction of the channel, because, you know, at least you say, hey, I got it from here. But no, the artwork is not only being stolen, but discredited, which made me mad. And I don't do any dealings when I'm mad. I don't talk to people when I'm mad, because I know that when I'm mad, I say things I don't mean, or I can escalate a situation that does not need to be escalated. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna file a report, say, hey, this was taken without my consent, etc., and go for the strike. Now, you might be like, well, that's kinda harsh to do for a small channel. For one, it's theft, regardless. And two, you know, I'm more than willing to remove the strike if I'm conversed with. You know, if he sends me a message and says, hey, you know, I saw you put a strike on it, and I wanna talk this through. And I'll totally be like, fine, and we can talk, and then I'll remove the strike after we've come to an agreement. Or, you know, if he messaged me and apologizes. But to just take something of mine and then discredit me as if I didn't do any work for it, I didn't make that on my own, is a pain. And then you could also point the argument that maybe his friend did make it. Well, as you can probably see them side by side, because I've probably posted them both up by now, you'd have to have known my exact process. You'd have to have known exactly how I make my thumbnails, meaning what opacity I use, how I tilt my text, because I always tilt my text at the exact same angle, what fonts I used, what images I used, what background I used. And I used two different backgrounds, so you'd have to know the exact same ones line them up the exact same way and do the exact same thing to them to make it look like that. So that's very difficult for someone to replicate without asking me. You'd have to know the exact dimensions of the text. So, you know, saying that maybe someone remade it is a possibility, but very, very unlikely. At least not to the exact same scale and measurement that I did mine. That being out the way, I just did what I thought was the best way to avoid me saying something dumb and getting into an argument that didn't need to happen. 
Now, the rest of this video is mainly dedicated to kind of what you guys, you know, what I encourage you guys to do if you ever find yourself in the situation where someone has taken something from you. And I'm sure that any of my artists out there already know what they'll do if this happens. But, you know, I encourage you that if you're mad, you know, if you still want to talk to that person, fine. But, you know, maybe take a breather, you know, try to not, you know, make an enemy where you don't need to just simply point something out. And I don't mean this in the sense that, you know, you have to be civil because you don't. If a robber came into your house and took your stuff, you wouldn't politely sit them down and say, you know, you made a bad choice, it's fine, I'm not gonna do anything. Like, no, you take the first blunt object and try to whack their head in because they're in your house and taking things from you. Like, I don't expect anyone to take the same route that I did. You might take it a bit differently and you might be mad about it. And that's totally fair because something that you made to your art, you put time, effort into that, and that's yours. And you should be, you know, proud of that. And if someone tries to discredit you for that, you shouldn't take that. So I just encourage you guys, if put in the same situation or a similar situation, to handle it the best way you think. If you think it's best to just not even go for the talk and just report it, that's fine. You know, you're entitled to that. It's your work. At the same time, if you think you're calm enough and you can reach a decision without, you know, blowing it out of proportion, then I encourage you to do that as well. Avoid the whole strike together. No one has to really be worried about anything and then drop the situation. I made this video because I think it's both a good way to segue into this topic because without having experience, I can't really make a good judgment call. But now that I have, I can kind of say this now. So that'd be a good way to kind of do both. Not only share the experience with you guys, but let you know what I think is the best way to approach the situation. And like I said, I'm not gonna try to be like a hard ass about it and ruin his life or anything. Like I'm not gonna do that. I, I don't intend on doing that. All I wanna do is talk about it be like, hey, next time ask me for permission, don't just take my stuff and we'll be cool. So that's kind of what this video is for. I did have something I want to talk about with the fine bros, but I think I might do that for a separate video. It kind of ties into this, so I don't know how I'll do that yet. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Zeus out.